Following the buzz surrounding the film's dark trailer, speculation is rife as to what shape the Batman will take on the big screen. Based on the evidence so far, it appears that the upcoming film will take on a considerably darker tone than previous DCEU installments. Beyond the eerie lighting and frightening characters, however, the picture offers a true chance to make the first full-fledged Batman horror film. Despite the dangers of committing to the horror genre, the payoffs might be magnificent, both for the film and for the DCEU as a whole in the future. The Batman seems to relish in Gotham's dark underbelly, based on the little factual information we have about the film. For example, the trailer begins with a chilling scene of Paul Dano's Riddler gaffa tape and immobilized body on the floor, evoking previous terrifying criminal thriller films like David Fincher's Seven. This sets the tone for scenes with murder, graphic violence, and disturbing visuals of the film's adversaries, including Catwoman, Penguin, and the Riddler himself. All of these elements point to the final product being as far removed as possible from Adam West's campy, tongue-in-cheek portrayal of the caped crusader. They do, however, allude to a chance to push both the character and the DCEU in a terrifying new path. Given the heritage of past DCEU films, the Batman might be the ideal solution to the DCEU's well-documented tone concerns while also providing moviegoers with a really horrifying cinematic version of probably comic book's most iconic character. Although earlier Batman films have greatly pulled from horror, no big screen, no holds barred Dark Knight terror narrative has yet to be seen. Given Batman's roots, the plethora of horrific source material, and even other audiovisual renderings of the character, a really terrifying cinematic adaptation is long overdue. The central role that Terror plays for the character himself is one of the most persuasive arguments in favor of a Batman horror film. Both Batman and Bruce Wayne are motivated by their dread and the ability to use fear as a tactic in their armory. Bruce Wayne tells to Alfred in Batman Begins that he adopted the bat tactic because bats frighten me. It's time my enemies shared my dread. This evocation of fear demonstrates how important fear is to the Batman mythos and why the character would be a perfect fit in a horror film. There are countless additional instances in which horror has played a significant role in earlier Batman material. For example, in the blockbuster game Batman Arkham Asylum, the player explores a horrifying morgue while being tormented by the Joker, which is one of the most haunting scenarios in console history. Horror motifs are used frequently in comic books as well. For example, a version of the Joker in the 2012 series Death of the Family surgically removes his own face, imitating the antics of horror icon Hannibal Lecter. It's almost remarkable that there hasn't been a full-fledged Batman horror film yet, given the franchise's long history of dread. The Batman might change that if the DCEU is willing to take some risks.